So I was sitting here enjoying my new Bushmills glass and I realized I put this shamrock on the other side and my thumb goes right on that and it's like a little bit grippier. So it decreases the odds that I'll drop my drink. I think that's a good thing. Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the Dirty Shop. And one of my favorite holidays is coming up. It's not really a holiday, I don't think, but it's, in my mind, it's a holiday, St. Patrick's Day. I love it, and unfortunately this year it falls on a Wednesday, which is a little rough, but eh, such is life, it's still a good day. And hopefully I'll be able to get out and play my Irish War Pipes, which is a Scottish Great Highland bagpipe the rest of the year. But on St. Patty's Day is an Irish War Pipe, and that's what I play. We used to cruise around with a pipe band and play at different bars and breweries and stuff like that. It was a great time. But uh, I, in honor of that day, I've decided to make myself some beer glasses out of Irish whiskey bottles. So I got these nice Bushmills uh, with, and they, Bushmills has these awesome labels that are just printed into the glass. They cast the, the labels into the glass. So I'm going to cut the bottles off above the labels, finish them up, maybe do some sandblasting on them. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll have a nice set of four whiskey bottle glasses for beer and uh, it could be pretty sweet so i've got a lot of work to do and i'm wearing my apropos or appropriate i'm not sure what apropos actually means but my appropriate irish yoga shirt which is one of my favorite irish shirts hopefully i won't be doing too much of that later and uh, i'm going to finish off this whiskey and uh, make some uh, bottles when i get out of the hospital so uh here we go cheers Just kidding, obviously. It's just tea. Anybody who sees real bushmills can tell the difference. I got a bottle over here. There's the real golden nectar right there. I'm saving this one for later, maybe when I finish. But for now, that's still a lot of tea to drink in like an hour and a half. <laughs> that was rough. I was hoping somebody was going to show up here that I could share it with. Now that I got these empty, you can see these cool labels, these cool uh, embossed or yeah, labels on the sides of them. So uh, that's what I'm after. We're going to make a jig now to cut these off with a glass cutter, and uh, then we'll cut them using the hot water and cold water method, hopefully. And then uh, I think I'm going to get my sandblast out and we'll do some sandblast patterns on them. It'd be pretty cool. All right, the first thing I got to do on this is make a glass cutting jig. I got my bottles here, which are not round, obviously. They're square, and it makes them a little more difficult to cut than a round bottle. But this upper part where I'm going to cut it is fairly smooth, at least, so that helps a lot. To do this, I'm going to use a glass cutter, just a standard glass cutter. These are available pretty much anywhere, any hardware store or anything. And uh, the glass cutter, in case you've never seen one of these before, has three basic parts. It's got this little etching tip right here with a little rolly. It's got like a little rolly blade there, but it's not sharp. It's just made to roll on the surface of the glass and etch a line in the glass. And then later that line is where the glass will crack. It just gives the glass a place to crack. It's like those little seams you see in a cement driveway or a sidewalk. They have a seam every once in a while so that when it cracks, because it's going to, it'll crack on that line, it's just like a weak point, right? The next thing are these teeth here, which are just like little lever teeth. You stick those on the edge of the glass so you can break the glass off with it and depending on size. And the other one's this hammer. So you can actually take the hammer after you've etched it and tap it and uh, sometimes it'll be enough to fracture that piece of glass off. Um, but the only part of this that I'm gonna use is this little rolly tip here uh, for the actual cutting.
Okay, here is what you want. A nice clean etch around the outside. You want to make sure it's consistent all the way around. It doesn't have to be even, it just has to have a good etch all the way around so that it'll crack on that line. Um, it is a lot harder to do this on a square bottle than on a round bottle. Uh, I've done it on round bottles in the past and, and everything I did worked really well and this is just a pain. This may not come as a shock to you guys, but uh, things have not gone as planned. I did not get these cut off as cleanly with the with the hot and cold water etch method. I expect them to break a lot cleaner. The round bottles I've done in the past have worked really well that way, nice clean cuts. Uh, but these ones, I didn't either I didn't etch them deep enough or whatever. They did not want to break that way. So I went back to my rock saw and I cut them off and I got two that are pretty clean. So I've got these two nice ones that are pretty clean. Very couple of tiny little chips in the edges, but nothing serious. And then I ended up with two that had some worse chipping. Get that away. All right, so you can see the spots that they've chipped in there. And then this one is really bad. It, it cracked down into the side of the jar here, uh, glass here, and there's like a notch. So um, I think what I'm going to do to save the project, well, save half the project, is I'm going to take and cut these off right below uh, the 1608 symbol here. Uh, with a little distillery thing there so that it'll just say the old bush mills and then this 1608 on top um, will all get cut off so it'll come off about right there i got two of those i'm going to cut them off and then i'll have a set of tumblers and a set of, of beer glasses i think those are going to be close to about 16 ounces so it'll be pretty cool um, not the way i planned it but it still should work out Now that I've got these basic, the basic grinding done, make sure when you are doing something like this with glass and you're grinding it and things like that, you either wet grind it so you don't have any dust or you wear very good protection and have good dust collectors and that sort of thing because you do not want that glass dust floating around and breathing in. So I was wearing a dust mask. I had a dust collector on my, my belt sander there with the vacuum pulling dust through it. I had fans going in the room. I had eyeglasses on. Uh, the only thing I didn't wear, which I probably should have, was a pair of gloves uh, because even the, the glass will get into your hands but luckily enough I didn't get any of that uh, so just for safety reasons be super careful with that sort of thing because uh, I don't I don't want anybody to to try and do this and then get hurt that would be that would really be a bummer um, but uh, what I want to do now on these glasses now that I've got them basically cut off and finished and ground down uh, I do want to take my I'm going to take these to the bead blaster I have a, a sand blasting cabinet out here but I haven't used it in a few years and it's got regular sand in it but a friend of mine, uh, I'm hoping to go to his place and see if he, I can use his bead blaster uh, because bead blasting will be a little bit of a finer finish. Uh, but uh, his might have sand in it too, but I'll, I'll deal with that when I get there. But uh, what I want to do is I want to put a couple of shamrocks on the sides of these. So like right in this, these flat faces here, I want some shamrocks on that so that it has a, a nice glass, maybe just on one side. I'll put a nice big shamrock and then I'm going to bead blast this upper edge so it's all smooth and it's going to have this nice smooth uniform bead blasted edge on all the glasses. It'll take care of some of that roughness.
And now the moment I've been waiting for. Yes. And time to see if it fits in the glass. Nothing like a little bit of Bushmills and Guinness in Bushmills glasses. Good times. Thank you for watching. And uh, I do appreciate your guys' support. So hit that like, subscribe button, notification bells, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time on The Dirty Shop.